So a little bonus video for you. Um, normally I've, well, I've sort of set up this channel now so that I haven't got the the old Mega Bed My Notes videos of basically me waffling away about everyday things. I thought that was cluttering the channel up a li little bit so you'll find those on the um, Buy Me A Coffee page from now on. But I thought that this one, this particular video, could go out to everybody because it's something that I'm getting a bit fed up with and uh, something that I just want to share with you. Um, so it's not a short, it's an actual video, but it's going to be a short video, if you know what I mean. So this morning we went shopping uh, to little as usual uh, in Mega Bed Van, and uh, my daughter uh, offered to come along with me to help. And uh, you know, now it's the school holidays, it's very welcome to, to have her sort of doing things for me uh, and my son as well. So yeah, it's good fun. Uh, so we're coming back from shopping. And as usual, I come down our street, as you'll see in the next this video footage after from my dash cam. Uh, so I was coming down our street and uh, sort of pulled over to the left, basically on the other side of the road, uh, so that I could reverse backwards into our gate. So I reverse sort of to the um, left. And uh, so I pulled up there. Normally somebody's parked there. And I'll tell you why somebody's parked there. It's because facing our gate, there's a wall, and behind the wall is uh, basically a stone-built barn. It's very pretty. Uh, only at the moment, it's being converted into a house. So they basically they've taken what was uh, an allotment garden and a barn, and they're creating sort of a, I guess it's uh, going to be um, sort of a parking area. Um, and um, the house, the barn. Uh, but it's been going on for a long time, and I understand that the, the owner of the, the house has uh, a little while ago lost their son to cancer. Uh, I lost my dad to cancer, so I understand that that's a horrible thing. So it's been going on a bit longer than expected, but the tradespeople, uh, and also the, the, the owner, tend to park in front of the house which is in front of ours because we're behind the house we're a little way off the road as you've seen in some of the videos we've got a long driveway and the other house used to belong to my parents-in-law and uh, so sadly they're no longer with us and so of course the, the house is now sort of owned by my wife uh, and so we have two gateways going onto the road so the long and the short of it is that uh, inconsiderate parking in front of our place makes it so accessing our place and the place in front becomes a bit of a problem because if they park directly in front, uh, it means that we haven't got much room for manoeuvring into our driveways, our two driveways. So this is what happened this morning. Usually there's a, a van parked right hard up against the ramp, you know, the the in front you call it battle in english i can't remember what you call it but uh yeah it's basically where the, the curb goes down and you've got uh, a flat bit to drive in um and somebody's going to tell me what it is so basically um i park up and reverse in but if somebody's parked their van there uh, right next to it i can't i have to go into the middle of the road and then reverse in so of course because there's lots of parked cars about, people tend to go full chat down our street and then the last thing you want is uh, somebody arriving straight uh, into you as you're manoeuvring. So this morning, uh, there was no van park there, uh, which is good. So I pulled in, pulled to the left, wanted to go round to the, to the left uh, to um, come in. But I stopped and I looked in my mirror looked up the street and there was a big truck coming along and I thought well I'll wait for him to come by and I'll reverse you know reverse around the corner into my driveway only he didn't go past he stopped right at the I was here and he stopped right at the side of me which obviously I wasn't expecting 
Um, and apparently it's the, I recognise the truck, it's owned by the person who owns the, the house that, that has been renovated, but it wasn't him driving, it was somebody else. And so, basically he said, well, I heard him mutter, oh, he's closed the gate. And basically to, to go into the place facing us, um, it, the driveway actually goes like a sort of a slip road onto the onto the road, so it doesn't. You got the road there. It doesn't go into the road. It goes like this at an angle onto the road behind the wall. Uh, and so, for me, I would have thought that it'd pull further down the street and then reverse in. Sorry, I don't think you got that on the camera. Pull further down the street and then reverse in like that. Okay. Being said, he stopped right next to me got out, muttered that the gate was closed, went over to go and open the gate, and I wanted to reverse to come into my place. So I basically said to him, I don't know whether he heard me, but I'm going this way, you know, um, well done. You know, I'm sort of quite angry, really. Um, and um, anyway, he tossed his back, and I decided, well, I'm going to go. I thought, well, just got enough room, just enough room to manoeuvre, and pull past his truck and turn. It was very, very tight. But as I was doing that, he sort of shimmied into his cab and started driving away as I was trying to manoeuvre. So anyway, the, up, the upshot was that I managed to manoeuvre without hitting him. He managed to pull forward without hitting me, and I managed to get into my drive. But I thought this so unnecessary. I don't know what you think. Tell me in the comments, but... I thought it's so unnecessary that he should stop there, okay, and block me in. So it's for me, it's deliberate because they know who I am. It, my van's quite distinctive, and they know that I live facing this place. So, you know, I thought that was so vindictive. So he should have pulled forward and then reversed into his gate rather than stopping right next to me. So let me let me know what you think. Uh, obviously, I'm a bit annoyed still. Um, because it's just inconsiderate and I wouldn't do it myself you know so anyway with that I'll leave you to watch the video and uh, I'll speak to you again in a later video so take care of yourselves see ya bye Excusez-moi, mais moi je suis en train d'aller là-bas. 